In today's NBA, you have to make history if you want to win the MVP. That's how stiff the competition is nowadays. But Joel Embiid has risen his game to another level. He's not only the front runner to win the MVP award, but also the scoring title. He's averaging an impressive 33.5 points per game for the season. Believe it or not, it's been a long time since another center other than Joel Embiid has averaged over 30 points. Is that something that Shaq, Hakeem, David Robinson, or Patrick Ewing has ever done? So who was the last player to do it? That player was Moses. Yes, it was Moses Malone in the 1981-82 season. You may not have heard of what he accomplished that year, but this was one of the most legendary seasons that we ever seen from a big man. Let's take a look at the numbers. He averaged 31.1 points per game on 52% shooting and 14.7 rebounds per game. Now here are the advanced numbers that he produced. He recorded the highest win shares, PER, and offensive box plus minus in the league. As far as the team's success, he led the Houston Rockets to 46 wins for the season. The end result was that he was the MVP, thanks to the monster numbers that he had. It's something that hasn't been duplicated since. There hasn't been a single player that's averaged over 30 points and 14 rebounds for a season. This was Moses at his apex. The numbers suggest that this was the greatest season of his career. He produced the highest points per game average, win shares, offensive win shares, value over replacement player rating, box plus minus, and offensive box plus minus. He's mostly famous for his rebounding abilities, and he's widely considered the greatest offensive rebound ever. But he was more than capable of recording impressive scoring numbers. He demonstrated this various times that year. For example, he scored his career high of 53 points on 63% shooting, along with 22 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block in the victory against the San Diego Clippers. Then there were 11 other games where he scored at least 40 points. There's one other historic performance that Moses had. It came against the Seattle Supersonics when he had the stat line of 38 points on 49% shooting, 32 rebounds, 3 steals, and 2 assists. That is only the 7th time since the merger that a player has recorded over 30 points and 30 rebounds. What's even more impressive about that game is that he pulled down a total of 21 offensive rebounds. That is the most that has ever been recorded in the history of the league. In fact, no one has ever pulled down over 20 offensive rebounds in a game. What was his motivation behind this legendary performance? Well, there were some reports that he was padding his stats against the weaker opponents. That made him angry, so he decided to prove a point against the Sonics all-star center, Jack Sigma. He proved that he could dominate against any opponent. The moral of the story is that you don't ever make Moses Malone mad. I mean, Look at this dude square up Jack Sigma years later. I think it's safe to say that there were some problems between the two players. But that game against the Sonics wasn't the only time he let out some steam against his opponents. It was reported by the New York Times that according to some Rockets players, he was also upset about something that occurred in the All-Star game. After a productive first three quarters where he had 12 points and 11 rebounds, he was benched by coach Pat Riley with 8.5 minutes left in the game. According to Rockets guard Robert Reed, that made the big fella mad. Keep in mind that the 1982 All-Star Game occurred on January 31st. So for the month of February, he averaged the insane stat line of 38.1 points per game on 56% shooting and 17.3 rebounds per game. In the immediate three games after the All-Star break, he had the 50-point performance that we already discussed, then he went for 45 points and 20 rebounds against the Phoenix Suns, and then he torched the Kansas City Kings with 47 points and 14 rebounds. That's the type of intensity that you want from your MVP. This was already a player that played a hard-nosed style in every possession. He would dig and scratch for every rebound. For example, this is what Washington Bullets player Mitch Kupchak said about what it was like playing against him according to the Washington Post. Quote, when you play against Moses, you have to be looking for him every second. He is probably the hardest guy for me to play. He'll go after everything, which means you never relax." End of quote. That's how this dude played on a random Tuesday. Now imagine how he's playing when he's pissed off. 
His singular focus and intensity are the only reasons why the Rockets were tied for the fourth best record in the West. I would say that it's probably not a good thing that your second scoring option is a 36-year-old Elvin Hayes. It's also not a great sign when everyone except for three players has a positive box plus minus for this season. With the exception of Moses, point guard Allen Level had a 2.1 box plus minus and Robert Reed had a 0.1 box plus minus. There was nothing special about this team, except for the fact that they had the best player in the world. He proved in the 1981 playoffs that he could carry a team to the finals, and he carried this team all season long. The ultimate stat that proves how valuable he was for the Rockets came when they traded him away in the offseason to the Sixers. With him gone, they only won 14 games in the 1982-83 season. This team was total garbage without him. So I believe he deserves all the roses for how he made this team look so competent. Is what MVPs do, and he was so deserving of it. For over 40 years, this has been the highest points per game average by any center since the merger. Now Joel Embiid has taken the mantle. If he ends up winning the MVP award, we'll surely bring up all the great centers that have passed the torch to him. We know that Shaq was the last big man to win the MVP. Then it was David Robinson, and then Hakeem. And they all had great seasons. But let's not forget to also bring up Moses Malone's name. 